Airbnb rolling out a series of product updates, including some new social features and expansions to its AI-powered customer service tools. we got a lot to talk about. Uh, first, right here on CNBC is Brian Chesky, Airbnb co-founder and CEO. It's great to have Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, let's talk first about some of the, some of the new products yeah. that you're rolling out, what this all means. Yeah. Uh, we talked when you first announced the sort of revamp of yeah. the app. Yeah, so last May... We completely reimagined Airbnb. We imagined what if you can Airbnb more than Airbnb. We launched services, we launched experiences, and since then, we've been hard at work. We had 65 upgrades, and we launched three things, or well, three big ones. Number one, people are telling us when they go on Airbnb experiences, they want to meet other people. And so we thought, what if we basically built features for people to see who's going, they could, you can keep in touch after, and you can message them. So now experiences are much more social. We made it much easier to find Airbnbs. We've completely revamped our maps. And then finally, with AI, we have AI customer service. Now you can have your problem answered in like six right. seconds. This is really, really hard to solve, AI for customer service. So the team worked really hard on this. How much are people using some of these new services in terms of, I remember, you know, trying to find somebody who will either cut your hair or yeah. do something for you or get your makeup or all of those kind of, kind yeah. of things. One of the things we learned is you still got to go city by city. Airbnb started in here in New York City. I know Uber, when they launched, they launched city by city. So we're really focused on a couple cities, Paris, L.A., and it's really, really starting to take off. So I think in the next year, you're going to see a lot of traction with these products. There's no Amazon for services. People say Amazon's the everything store. It's actually the everything in a cardboard box store. And so we think there's a service platform that can be really big. And experiences, we think that could be a multi-billion dollar business. Is there a feature where I can guarantee I won't meet anyone? On, uh... Uh, services, you can have all to yourself. You can, you can, uh, every uh, service right. is totally... Totally so you can yourself. prevent me from meeting. Exactly. Yes, yes, I we remember when services. it first happened, I think you and I had a conversation about whether people would use it to find somebody great yeah, and then, then go off, off and try to service. create a sort of a third party, a one on one relationship with them. Um, yeah, that can happen in marketplaces because we're travel and the demand and the supply come from different cities and they don't usually go to the same place again. It's not as frequent. But yes, any recurring service in this a local market would happen. Tell me about the AI piece of this right now, because yeah, so that's, we, that's the conversation everybody's having. Yeah, I mean, obviously, <clears throat> we're pretty, pretty knee-deep in AI, and we're not deep in the, app, uh, the research level. We're deep in the application layer. And so, basically, <clears throat> customer service is one of the best uses of AI. Now, a lot of people, like, with AI, they start with agents. And one of the most common ideas is a travel agent. Right. We thought, instead of helping you plan, let's do the hardest problem. I'm locked out. I have a problem. I need to alter my reservation. I feel unsafe, like the hardest problems. So we used 13 different models, trained it on tens of thousands of conversations. Our AI customer service agent has handled over 100,000 conversations. It's reduced the need to contact an agent by 15%. So now we're rolling it out globally. Our AI agent is more personalized. We've developed a custom interface where it's user, like a user interface where it can take actions for you. So it's really useful. I, I, I will say the first thing I ask whenever I get on one of these chat situations is, Am I talking to a real person? Yes. Do you answer honestly when? Yeah, yeah. We are very clear about when you're talking to an AI if agent. I, if I and want if, customer service, I yeah, basically want. Yeah, to. and we can you can go right to a person very quickly, and the AI is really good at escalating you to the right person very quickly as well. Okay. Let's okay. So here's one for you. You have not integrated with your pal Sam Altman's ChatGPT. No, not yet. So why not? Funny enough. I was talking about this idea, and we talked about integrating different applications. I said, if you want to do this, you need the SDK, Software Developer Kit. And the iPhone, they developed a great software developer kit. I said, we don't all want to just be data layers. We want to be able to have robust services. So I'm very close to Sam. I talked to him. I was aware of the development of this product. And we'd love to be a part of it. The SDK wasn't quite robust enough for the things we want to do. When you join Airbnb, it's not a commodity. It's a community. And they got to develop the SDK a lot more. What, is, what does that mean? That, that it has the, to give you more control over yeah, it? Yeah, like, like when you go to the iPhone, they have this really robust software developer kit. And you can basically create whatever user interface you want. It's really robust. Right, right now, it's just like these little modules. And I think it would be a little bit, it just needs to be a little bit more robust. Is, is that because you want to maintain control of your community and not basically share that with anybody else? You'll use their stuff. But well, that's a separate them. topic. That's yeah. a separate topic, and we, that's a business decision of just kind of like, do we want to put our inventory on Google, right. but then does Google disremedia us? And we chose not to put our inventory on Google search yeah. um, to make it indexable, um, you know, like through like the, the, the right. hotel finder. We didn't put it there, but we do, we do pay for SEM. So it's, that's a business question. Right. I think we would probably want to be a part of ChatGPT and other platforms. We just want to make sure... 
it's almost like you go to a retail store and there's a brand in the retail store. You want to make sure right. you're not just a product in an aisle. You have your own little Well, kiosk that's what I was going to ask. So, you know, uh, ChatGPT just came out with a new browser. Yeah. I don't know if you've been playing with it. Yeah. I've been playing with it just in the last Atlas. 24 hours. It's fascinating. But it could have, ultimately, I would think, it could disintermediate yourself because it's seeing all the things you're browsing on so all I'll the tell time. So I'll tell and you what else. At some point, you're going to hit the chat and you may never even go to the, the website. Yeah, that, that's a couple things to say. Number one, one company can't just run the global economy. That's just not going to happen. And so the idea that like one chatbot, one company is going to do everything. Well, let me ask you a question. How come Apple didn't create every app in the App Store? Because one company just can't create Airbnb and Uber and Spotify. There's a lot to build, a lot to do. We're gonna, and if one company did create everything, you're introducing a huge amount of bureaucracy. So we're all going to have to work together. And I think AI is going to lift up a lot of companies. And so they can be distribution. But if they want to vertically integrate every single thing, it's going to be very, very difficult. Right. So you I don't think, think it it's going to happen. think it would draw the attention of regulators? regulators yeah, well. the, beyond yeah. the fact that probably regulators don't want one company to own everything. But again, I think we're at the very beginning. And we're also in this period where if you go to the top 50 apps in the App Store, number one is Sora, number two is ChatGPT, number three is Gemini. Those three apps are AI apps. Imagine AI is like electricity. Those companies got this magical new technology. They're electrified. Apps 4 through 50 don't yet have it. Over the next three years, you're going to see everyone having it. And everyone's going to have access to basically the same models because they're all available via API. So suddenly, the playing field will start to get a little more level. Right. And over the next three years, you're going to see a lot of consumer apps. Right now, it's like a gold rush. Intelligence is the gold. And everyone's just making picks and shovels. I'm on the board of Y Combinator. Almost every startup's an enterprise company. There's not a lot of consumer companies yet. Mm. Daily, AI doesn't change the world until it changes the daily life of regular people, and that doesn't happen until most consumer apps are AI. Okay.